Hey guys, thanks for dropping in for another diecast review. Today's diecast is the 2022 Kyle Larson 88 Hendrick Cars Xfinity Camaro. Uh, he ran this at Watkins Glen. This is not the race win version. This is just the standard version. Race win is not out yet, but um, good looking car. Uh, good looking uh, paint scheme to match his cup car. Uh, the box is just a standard Junior Motorsports 2022 box. Um, I believe, I think anybody uh, that uh, was kind of a one-off uh, driver, similar to what Kyle Larson did, that's kind of what they got uh, for a box if, uh, if they were, if the diecast was even made, so... Uh, pretty standard box. Does have Junior Motorsports on it. 2022 season Xfinity Series uh, has a decal here, rendering of the car. Standard finished on um, this one. This one did actually come in above minimum order quantity. They had 648 of these manufactured, so uh, must have been a significant amount of pre-orders on these, or uh, they might have pre-ordered. I know sometimes Junior Motorsports they'll pre-order quite a few of them to have on the uh, souvenir haulers at the racetrack to sell. So Kyle Larson, 88, HendrickCars.com, 2022 Camaro, and on to the die cast. Uh, the car itself, pretty standard. Um, the Xfinity cars are like, uh, like we all know, just hood open. Uh, no trunk, no posable wheels, but uh, the paint scheme looks good. Uh, matches the cup car paint scheme for the Hendrick Cars um, livery. Uh, Chevy Camaro 88, Junior Motorsports on the nose, HendrickCars.com on the hood. Contingency decals 88, Hendrick Cars, Kyle Larson on the name rail. This is a tribute someone I can't see exactly what that is right there but uh, B post has some contingency sponsors there Exalta American flag on the C pillar ethanol ring hendrickcars.com is apparently hiring technicians right now uh, rear tailpiece has got racing electronics mechanics wear Mac tools hendrickcars.com 88 Camaro and the uh, rear bumper decal. Larson on the rear window, hiring techs on the roof along with 88. Right side is basically the same as the left. Uh, we got Simpson ARP fasteners and Sunoco on the right front corner here. Xfinity across the uh, windshield banner for Drivers that are not full-time in the Xfinity series that are just running a few races, they don't actually put their name on the uh, windshield banner, but I've seen where they do have their name on the windshield banner sometimes too, so I don't know what the rule is with that, if they have a rule, if that is just something that they just do Xfinity because it's easier and they don't have to change it out for multiple drivers driving in the same cars, I don't know. Hendrickcars.com on the trunk lid, DIN number 537, and going to be the same engine detail, got Wix and Chevy logo on the bottom side of the hood, same engine detail as every other Xfinity ARC car, plastic underbody, uh, looks like my right front axle is a little bit, or left front axle is a little bit bent there, but um, not much more detail than that. Uh, good looking car. I do I do like this paint scheme, even though it is, I don't know, some people say it's overused, but uh, it's the original, I think, Ricky Hendrick paint scheme, I think is what people say it is. Uh, I know he ran this paint scheme. I don't know if he was the first one to do it or, or not, but all in all, good looking car. Uh, nothing more really on it. Um, picked this up uh, shortly after it came out. Um, kind of just wanted to add another junior, junior motorsports car to my collection. I've been kind of collecting the one-offs and, uh, 
the Josh Berry, most of the Josh Berry cars, and then uh, some Allgaier and Gregson stuff too, uh, the cars that I like. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for stopping by.